To make a pinwheel, you will need paper, scissors, a pencil with an eraser, a straight pen, glue, markers or crayons, or any other coloring supplies that you choose. It could be paint or something else that is not listed. You're probably gonna start with a rectangular piece of paper and you need to lay it horizontally and you're gonna fold the bottom edge up to match the top edge and it's not going to be perfect and you're gonna see a little extra on the end but I'll tell you what to do with that in a second. Make a crease going in a diagonal line to the opposite corner. Now you can grab your scissors and cut off that extra little tail and this will make your paper a perfect square. Now that you have a perfect square, you're gonna fold the opposite corner to the top to make an X with your folds in the middle of your paper. Now you have four triangles. It's time to decorate. You can add any patterns or designs to each shape that you want to. You could decorate it all the same if you want to. I chose to decorate mine with four different patterns and designs. It's totally up to you. You can ev even decorate both sides of the paper. Once you're finished adding patterns and designs, flip your paper over to the back. If you decided to decorate both sides, you can go ahead and pick, pick whichever side you want to be the back, it doesn't matter. I left the back of my paper yellow, and you can see that I am drawing a couple of lines in the crease of my paper, and I'm not going all the way to the center. These black lines are gonna be where I cut in just a minute, but we don't wanna go all the way to the center because we need our paper to stay attached. You'll see in just a minute what I mean. Once you're finished drawing your lines, you can go ahead and grab your scissors and start cutting along that guideline. Make sure that you don't cut all the way to the center of the paper. You need to leave about one inch around um, each triangle so that your paper stays attached. If you cut all the way to the middle of the X, you will end up with four separate triangular pieces of paper. Okay, you are ready to start gluing. Go ahead and flip your paper over and put one tiny dot of glue in the center of the paper and you are going to start folding over each one corner from each triangle to the center where you put that dot of glue. It gets a little bit tricky and you may need some extra hands to help you. So if you have somebody at home that can help hold the center of it, that would be helpful. Okay, for this next part, you are going to need your straight pin and some adult supervision so that you don't poke yourself. I also added a bead to the center of mine because my straight pen is so long that even going through the paper and the eraser of the pencil like you will see in a minute, I still had a lot of extra hanging off. So I put a bead in the center and I poked the straight pen through the hole in the bead and then I have just enough to go through the eraser of the pencil. Again, this part gets a little bit tricky, so please make sure that you have some adult supervision to help you so that you don't poke your finger. You are just gonna push really hard until that straight pin goes through the back of the pencil, I mean back of the eraser, and you'll see that if you don't have an eraser on your pencil, it's not really going to work. And that's it, you are all finished. You should have a really cool working pinwheel. I cannot wait to see what you guys create.